getting ready to yeah. go to my first yeah, 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 yeah. session. I was gonna write a song, but I've been hella stressed. So late, but I don't look in your eyes and notice I'm hella blessed. Coming to. for my video i'm hoping that after watching that you would still watch me i don't know i can be a little traumatic sometimes i guess yeah so it's been a whole week since that um traumatic episode i guess you would say since that breakdown just keeping up to date with how the week went by after that i started cleaning bit by bit not it's not like fully clean my room um, but bit by bit I started making the bed after you know sleeping on it every time I eat I wash my dishes right away I think little things like that is helping me get throughout the day I did go back to the gym I went four times this week and I'm actually getting ready to go to do another type of workout before i get into that though yeah i've been cleaning i've been organizing and i feel like it is helping a bit like every time i have like a clean bed or my bed is made i have clear thoughts my mind is more clean i guess you would say and i'm not really in that mood um of course like i know it's gonna hit again but the best i can do is just you know keep up this routine and just get better one percent at a time so i'm hoping this vlog is going to be just a little bit more lighthearted, i guess you would say so today i'm getting ready to go to my first boxing session um i'm super excited so the person training me his name is joe mar and he is from the instagram page official knucklehead twins i recently saw him on this boxing page um and it's a small business that him and his twin brother made what's up with me and becoming friends with twins but you know what i mean and when i saw their page i'm just like damn i really want to learn boxing like i've always wanted to learn boxing like or learn some sort of you know self-defense because i i don't think i can defend myself in the streets and i feel like i could fall in love with boxing that's why i want to take it and i did reach out to them and one of the twins will be training me right so i think he had availability for the month of april starting the month of april and i decided to you know what just go for it i'm really trying to get myself out there and plus the amount of emotions that i feel it's gonna be so good to just take it all out unboxing you know me just punching things and obviously with correct form and whatnot and combinations i feel like boxing will be a good alternative to let my frustrations out which is what i'm super excited on all right your girl is full and she did her makeup don't ask why even though i know i'm gonna be drenched in sweat today all good i'm gonna put a wrap on me i bought a body wrap it's called revenge x body or revenge body wrap and this is a really really long wrap listen i'm not usually wearing wraps anymore like waist trainers and whatnot but this kept playing 
like this i was tempted because of an ad it was always showing up it was always popping up on all my social media so i'm like you know what fuck it i'm gonna buy it and i bought two one over there but when i opened it though it smelled so this is how long it is like bro that's long it smells i'm not gonna lie even like when i got it but like it actually does the job pretty well so the only reason why i'm gonna be wearing a body wrap is because these pants are so loose on me and i know i'm gonna be like and it's gonna go down so that's gonna secure it and i don't have any other leggings so yeah you gotta work with what you got basically there's a loop over here at the end so you just put it in make sure it's on the right side of it and then you just pull pull honestly you can already have it wrapped around and pull but like it's just easier if you already put it in the hole first and then put it on you okay so that's on me make sure my pants are all the way up to the gods and then you just wrap you wrap around yeah look how long it is i'm not putting it tight but you can um, adjust it based on how tight you want it but personally for me or at least for this cardio session that I'm about to do soon I do not want it tight on my body yeah that's it that's all I wanted to show you oh no I also wanted to show you one more thing so I wanted to show you guys my gloves that I bought on Amazon the ones that I bought are the Hayabusa brand I bought the color clay but it looks like you know gold or like neutral tone so I totally love this I was gonna go basic and just get white because it'll match all my outfits but I'm like you know what let me just get this this matches too it's technically a neutral color and so I'm so excited I didn't buy wraps because I've actually bought it um off my trainer Jomar so I'm just gonna pick the wraps when I get there right and it was much cheaper so I didn't have to worry about that but look at that the only thing is I'm so scared because they're tight already but like he said it's normal I'm scared that my my hands won't fit like when I wear the wraps as well with it it's because you gotta break them in your girl's ready anyways I'm literally procrastinating and my bus comes soon so I'm gonna have to head out now but yeah I just wanted to show you the gloves that I'll be wearing I'm so excited I'm actually really nervous about my session though because y'all know I still got cardio so low-key I'm freaking out <laughs> I'm like I'm probably gonna be like I'm sorry if I suck but he's probably used to it to be honest come on he's he's a trainer I'm so late for my training. Oh my gosh. Okay. So these are the NFC um, wraps. They're all pretty much the same, similar kind of feel. But I like these ones because they're a little thicker. Like, feel these ones. They're a little thinner. This is Rival. You so some of them are a little different. Cool. I like the thicker one for me. I like the thicker one. They, 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 oh, they all yeah, stretch, I but this one feels a little thicker, you know? So there's yeah. a little bit more cushion. So have you ever boxed before? Have you ever done any no. class for us? No, the rest. So yeah, no, no, it's okay. I lost you. It's, no, no, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. How many tats do you have? Huh? How many tats do you have? I have. I want more. You want more? Yeah. Got my cards ready to play. Yeah, it's all a game. Much at stake What would you give up To 
change your face Look is it me, fuck all your face Love face down, but you're not down for me Don't play when I say that I'm wanting more, 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 more What's it for? Keep score, but you keep me guessing But I guess that you keep it on the low, 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 low No, no, no Are you ready for this? Come on, come on, we can just go all in on my boxing session that day alone was hella stressful because i actually went to the wrong area imagine i left my house around 10 45 a.m my boxing session was supposed to be for 12 30 p.m but i didn't get to his place around like 105 p.m because i went like to the opposite side of the location so i had ugh, it was just like oh my gosh i was so stressed literally I took the train, I took the bus, only to end up taking an Uber, um, but yeah, that was hella stressful, and then I didn't go home until like 6.45 p.m. It was a really long way home because also too, the subway right now in Toronto is hella weird. Yeah, that was, that was stressful, but overall, it was a really great first boxing session. I'm super surprised. And Jomar is such a great teacher and I, I'm so looking forward to the multiple sessions that we have in the future which I'll definitely, you know, film so you guys can see my progress in boxing. It really did give me confidence and he's such, like, he's such a hype man so I'm super grateful that he's my coach and he's very understanding and patient with me when it comes to learning so yeah, that was my first boxing session. I, I can't wait. I, I honestly see myself after like doing the promo that I chose which is like 15 sessions with him I feel like I will go back and pay again to be trained by him because I see myself loving boxing honestly like dead ass the next day was Sunday and it's supposed to be my rest day and because I was in a sour mood I decided to go to the gym and I thought I was just gonna do my own personal cardio but I ended up shadow boxing you know and just practicing my moves right so I see myself getting addicted to it but yeah going forward to now like I was supposed to film on Sunday like I said it was a rest day for me just to like close up um, this weekend but I was in a sour mood so I didn't really film anything and then Monday oh my gosh Monday was a different day for me I was trying to just keep this vlog you know a little bit more peaceful and more happy than usual just because of my my vlog beforehand if you guys watched it i was literally crying on the bus on the way to work i had a breakdown outside of work and then after you know gathering myself together i went in office and i was crying while working and i was like i messaged my hr i was like listen i don't think i can work right now like i'm here but is it okay if i leave early just because I knew I was gonna have a breakdown again. I just didn't want my coworkers to see me like this, so I knew I needed that break. And so um, I was allowed to leave, and when I left, I was literally also crying on the bus going back home. And then when I got home, all I did was cry the whole time. 
multiple breakdowns to the point where I legit shocked my body into getting hit with a high fever. Like, I never knew that was possible. That's why my voice sounds like this. I cried so much. I had multiple breakdowns on Monday to the point where I now have a high fever. I'm done with I hope my crying sessions for the week um, I, I really don't know it just when it hits you it just hits you but um, I'm hoping to just recover in terms of like getting back to my normal body temperature so I'm trying to get rid of this fever it did go down a bit it's not a high fever anymore it's like a normal fever uh, thank goodness I have a day off tomorrow I was actually supposed to do my G test tomorrow but I had to reschedule and that's a whole nother case I had to reschedule and because I was rescheduling less than 48 hours before my test, I had to pay the fee again, which is around like $90. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this coming to? I'm trying to think of it in a sense where all these rock bottoms are hitting me. I'm hit with so much struggles right now because something great is about to happen in my life. That's, that's how I'm trying to think of it as. So I'm just going to keep thinking that it's happening for a reason. Uh, all I ask is that you please pray for me and that I recover soon. I am getting better day by day, I believe. And knowing that I have a lot of people who have my back and who can relate, like it helps me and kind of puts me at ease that it can be overcome. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video regardless and I hope you have a wonderful day and I love you guys so much. Bye. Mwah. Thank you.